Welcome to the channel. I'm the Barking Brother, and here we talk about money in general and finance. So we talk in banks, crypto, credit cards, side hustles, stock market, real estate, etc. You know, on this particular video, I wanted to talk about some side hustles outside of what's normally covered. Actually, some fun stuff, and I'll be totally upfront. This is not stuff that everybody can do. But if you have these skills, it can be very lucrative for you, and you'll be doing something that you like to do. All right, so hey, if this is the type of content that gives you value, do me a favor, hit the subscribe, like, share, and pop the notification bell while you're at it. It helps the algorithm to send it out to a wider audience and help me grow the channel. And I greatly appreciate it, and thank you for taking the time to do that. Now, I want to get right into it. Side hustles that are cool, but Again, not everybody can do it. So these are stuff that I think would be fun for someone that's good at it. So let's just jump right into it. The first one is a local tour guide. So if you live in a resort area, a touristy area, or maybe a really historic area, it could just be a neighborhood, it could be a town, it could be a part of the city that's very historic and touristy, and you have a great knowledge of that particular area, you could actually charge to be kind of like the, the tour guide. You could take the tourists to come in, whether it's a walking tour, or maybe if you have a, a van of like a 15 passenger van, and you could charge them to take them around the touristy area or the historic area and give them a better insight about it than they're gonna get on their own, or you know, then they'll get surfing the internet you know, add a little flair and some character to it. And, you know, it could grow really quickly into something that would be a big question for you. So my first side hustle is being a local tour guide. If you live in a resort area or a historic zone or something like that. The second side hustle revolves around food. Okay, so I'm a person that eats most of my meals at home. We cook in our household. I would say I probably eat 90 to 95% of my meals at home uh, because to me, the food at my house is better than most of the food that I'm going to get in the restaurant. I just think it's prepared better. You know, it's just prepared with more care and more love. And I just prefer the food I get at home over what I get at most restaurants. Now, I think most people don't really like to cook anymore. Uh, so if you can cook, and particularly if you can bake, because a very small percentage of the population can bake and really bake well. If you can bake, you can make a lot of money being a baker, supplying baked goods, and I'm talking pastries, cookies, cakes, pies. Man, it makes me want to you know, want some sweets just thinking about it. You can make lots of money cooking for all types of events, corporate events, big parties, I mean, you name it. I mean, everybody loves some sweets, you know, some cakes and cookies and pies, but most people are just not good at doing that and they will pay and pay well for you to provide those types of goods for their events or parties or whatever the case may be. So my second side hustle for fun stuff for people that can actually do it is being a baker, okay? Baking pastries and basically sweet treats. All right, let's go to the third one. Let's just cut right into it. That old saxophone, that piano that you haven't been on in a while, but you're really good at it, that is a money maker. Being a freelance musician, playing for weddings, bar mitzvahs, anniversary parties, graduation parties, corporate events, you name it. Music is an art, just like I feel like baking is an art. Being a local tour guide is an art. All three of these side hustles I've touched on are art forms. And they're art forms that not everyone can do. If you are really good at music, like for instance, I went to a party once where there was a guy that had a little piano he traveled with. He called himself the Piano Man. And he could play any song that you asked for or requested. He could play it. He made a lot of money just doing parties and events and stuff doing that because it kind of became like a game that people would play, giving him these songs to see if he could actually play the song. And I'll tell you, he did not fail. He played every song and played it to the letter. So if you are really good with that horn, that piano, whatever the case may be, that guitar, being a musician, giving an art form 
in a time where musicianship is not as high as it used to be with all the digital music and machines that make the beats, a lot of people still appreciate good old fashioned musicianship with real music played by real people. That is a money maker for you. If that's marketed well, it can lead to tons of dollars. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so those are my three side hustles of fun stuff for people that can do it, that can bring you lots of money. Hey, I hope you found value in this content. If you did, please do me a favor by hitting that subscribe, like, share, pop that notification bell while you're at it so you know when I got something new popping. Leave comments in the comment section. And on that note, I'm out for now. But until then, peace.